Game of the year. It's one of the better indie games this year, I'll tell you that. I think it actually was. Incest game. Oh boy. All right, let's go. We'll finish it. So just for everybody to be caught up, these two are siblings and um, previously uh, they were locked inside their apartment and then uh, their neighbor was performing a satanic ritual and they went and uh, were overlooking it and uh, or spying on him. And then they saw the demon that came from the satanic ritual killed him. So then because they were hungry, because they were locked in their apartment, they decided to eat his body uh, and, and cook it up for food. And then after that, uh, obviously like a police officer came in and they had to kill the police officer because he was going to find out that they had eaten the body. And then after they killed that police officer, uh, they had to go downstairs and talk to... Uh, actually, I think that's not exactly how it went, something like that. I talked to this hot girl that then tried to kill the guy with a nail gun, so he killed her too. And then they left the apartment, and the apartment burned down, completely unrelated to them. And then they were on the run, a guy tried to ambush them and kill them, but the girl actually summoned the demon again herself, and he gave her a dream catcher that could tell her what's going to happen in the future. So then she found out that there was a guy that was going to kill him. And then so they ran away and then they killed the guy. So they killed another person. They decided that they needed to also kill their parents. and so, Not kill their parents, but they needed to sacrifice their parents to the, de to the demons. Oh, there's also a satanic ritual club, but that's not really important. Uh, so they had to sacrifice their parents to the demons. Uh, well, actually, well, they, they originally just broke into their parents' house to steal money. But then, whenever they were there, they thought, actually, well, while we're here, we might as well sacrifice their souls to the demon as well. That way, we can uh, get more charges on our demonic dream catcher. And so, that's where we're at now. Okay, let's go. So, yeah, this is us. Okay. All right, good. And we're just getting rid of the body. All righty. Let's go ahead and move on. 100% accurate? Yeah. I just want to make sure everybody's caught up. Okay. What did I do last? You pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Oh, actually, no, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're, we're blending them all in, with the... Yeah, that's a good idea, okay. Several servings of crimson smoothies emerge, all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good is gone. Okay. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. Yeah, to be honest, I am too. Uh, what, did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. All right, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Well, great. Um... Okay, what about this? Ooh, I know, let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. Okay, that's smart. What was the soup you made earlier, and what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Okay. So I guess I have to go get the uh, the food. So I guess we're gonna eat their bodies. And if we're gonna do that, I have to go get... Uh, yeah, let's go get some more potatoes and onions. That seems like the best idea. Okay, there we go. And I think the third one was inside of here. Okay. You cut the limbs into chopped meat, you get chopped meat, you skin the heads. I have two faces. <laughs> so she cut their faces off? Nice. And two skulls. Okay. What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? No, I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, wrong with the other bones. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. Okay. Look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, is there anything else we still needed to deal with? Uh, oh, I guess we need to go to the fireplace. Oh, they're not going to eat it? Oh, I thought they were going to eat it. Okay. 
Oh, we can burn the bodies here. That's a good idea. There you go. It would be like a cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo, watch. You place the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing's happening. Give it a minute, goddammit. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. So, uh, let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces into the fire, too. You think the soup is ready yet? Oh, let's go check on the soup. Dinner's ready. Oh, boy. I'm eating, too? Of course. This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right. Now say, ah, ah. Unexpected. Well, well, how is it? I mean, it's, it's like if you just saw this frame, you would think that this is like a, you know, a pretty wholesome, wholesome thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay. I mean, it's better than the last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, all right? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup. No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Uh, you will attract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry, you can't cook. You're not forgiven. Oh. Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. Ooh, she didn't like that. Well, come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, it's fantastic in a way that my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Hmm. Why, yes, indeed. This cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. An out-of-this-world culinary experience, which the likes of me cannot even taste properly, because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Truly, when I said a waste of ingredients, I meant it was a waste to feed it to me. Bro, this guy is simping so fucking hard. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings. No, gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write write you a shitty poem about it. Oh god, ha ha ha. Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. And oh, there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, quarter past midnight. Ooh. Oh, she didn't like that at all. Uh-oh. Should I buy lip balm? The meat isn't dry, goddammit, it's just right. Haha. <laughs> Whatever. Humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. I love how the implication is that there'll be a future time that they'll need to also cook a human being. Which, to be fair, probably is true. Next time. What next time? No, oh, whatever. Anyhow. I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. Well, while you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Okay. Don't worry too much about someone thinking you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Uh, right, what was I thinking? You shouldn't worry even if I told you to. Okay. Your inability to grasp away the situation is simultaneously your best and worst quality. I've really come to appreciate it lately, though it pisses me off all the same. Thank you. Hmm. Dumb as a stone. I just chose to ignore your not-at-all-subtle insults. Haha. <laughs> okay. This should be fine to just chuck it in this trash bin outside, right? Got human soup. Okay. Well, why don't we just bury it? Can we just bury it? I mean, I don't think we should go outside like this. This is throw away the leftover human soup. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. 
Yeah, we just threw the... Okay, I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. Okay. Well, where's all the bones? Oh, they're in the fireplace. That's right. Okay, and let's get their bones. The flesh has been burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones. You put them in one of the plastic bags. Okay, well, wh why don't we just bury them outside? Can't, why can't we just bury them out in the garden? I, I feel like that's the best idea, right? No? I, I guess I can't do that. I mean, we could put them in the cupboard. I mean, we could also just throw them in the garbage, too. Okay, it doesn't want me to do that. Hmm. I guess we'd just go put it in the garbage. Yeah, that's... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Got some rocks. You placed them in one of the plastic bags. Okay. Um... I don't know why I would do that, but okay. Maybe I put them in recycling? Hmm... Flush them down the toilet? I don't know what to do. Hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe I try and put them in the, uh... Oh, look who it is. So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing these into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, O oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. The bones float? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I already picked up some rocks, just to be sure. Well, that's smart. Well, let's pick up the skulls. You remove one of your parents' teeth through using the screwdriver. You got a whole bunch of teeth. You got a toothless skull. Okay, good. And what about this one? You got all the teeth. Now you've got to find a way to get rid of them. And I got the toothless skull as well. Okay, good. I can just flush them down the toilet, right? You flush it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's smart. Okay, good. It takes a few tries to flush them all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There, it's all gone. You wish you could do this to all of your problems. You just have to try harder. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why do we have to... Oh, uh, we'll have to... Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're gonna live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but everyone's eventually... Eventually somebody's gonna go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they get fired? So what? I doubt either one of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with people here. The neighbors will notice with them gone, despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lies, saying we're watching our parents, the house for our parents, or so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. She is so stupid. Uh, they have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go, haven't heard from these two in a while. Oh, well. Someone's going to come looking with the authorities. And whoever they find here, their children who didn't report their parents missing, officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. This brings up a good point. At least we can use... Can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Hmm. Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. Okay. God damn it. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Oh, I'm gonna need a mop. Okay, let's get the mop. Got an excellent mop. Okay. Get rid of all this. Should I put the candles back in a box too? Okay, yeah. Probably should put the candles for the demonic sacrifice back in the box. Yeah, probably. 
I would say so. Returned all candles to the box. Okay, well, great. It's it's done. I guess we, do we put the mop up? No, we don't need to. Okay, well, uh, I think we're good, right? Can I look at her purse? No. Who cares? All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. I would then maybe see if you have a dream where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason that I at least have two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Okay. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demons say about it exactly? Hell if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, is just as important as this. Look, it just said I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then could I hold it this time? He gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you. What's it hard to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it. I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? You want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... We're not cutting it. That's not it. I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us gets a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together. Oh boy. Man, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget about this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. But I still think I'm going to be the one that has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Oh boy, here we go. Uh oh. Good night. Good night. Ugh. Uh oh. Fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help at all that mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So what that little show so, so what's that little show about earlier? Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. Oh. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Ooh. Got a pink plushie. Ooh. A sucky drawing. The TV won't turn on. Who drew all this garbage? How would I put it there? What's this? Got a red crayon. Oh, what the fuck? Nothing but static. Okay, well maybe I should go over here then. Can I go over maybe... to here? Hmm. A pink plushie sits amongst the papers. Oh, oh. Oh. I know you guys can't see. She got a green crayon. It's right there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I need to keep moving? I don't know.
down. I oh I see, I see. Okay. And now I have the blue crayon. Well, that's good. Great. We've got all the crayons. Do we win the game now? Hmm. Eat them. Gave the pink plushie all the crayons. Oh, this is... Hello? The TV and you watch each other. Most, more importantly, this episode is titled Andy, Laylee and Laylee Alone. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The pink plushie sits by itself. I'll take it. Mother plushie won't budge. Father plushie won't budge. Got green plushie. Okay. There's nothing to sit on. Well, I'll just move it over here then. Okay. Sit down the pink plushie. But it fell right off. What? Okay, let me put the... the can okay, I put it over there? Hmm. Maybe I need to grab both of them. I can't put it in the other chair, guys. I tried. It doesn't work. Oh, okay, here we go. See, I can't fucking... The plushies seem happy together. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. How lovely. Yellow plushie won't budge. Purple plushie won't budge. The trash is locked. Soup is brewing, though it seems to be missing sustenance. The chest is locked. Hmm. An empty spot. Uh. That didn't do shit. Hmm. Oh, it unlocked them. That's nice. Okay, what's in the box? The trash can now be utilized. Yes, it can. There's nothing in the trash. Oh, okay. What's in the box? There's nothing in the chest yet. Okay. This plushie appears to be quite the ladies' man. Got the yellow floozy. Got the purple hussy. Oh, yeah. We want to put the, um, the yellow one in there, right? Because that was the girl she put in the box. 
throw the purple plushie into the trash. No, it didn't work. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Okay, I guess we'll put the yellow one in here. A bit of wishful thinking, perhaps. And then the purple one, you locked it away. Now it's exactly where it belongs. Oh, okay. Soup is brewing. It seems to be missing sustenance. Okay. Now what the fuck do I do? Hmm. Got the mom plushie. Got the dad. Oh, she's gonna put them in his stew because she ate them. I know. Threw mom and dad plushies into the pot. Oh, wow. Now everybody's together. What's this? There's nothing in the cage. Hmm. And now we put the yellow plushie in the cage. Got the best thing in the world. And there, all better. Now he's in the cage. Oh. That's good. Green? Oh yeah, green and yellow mentally are the same thing. What's the sword? I got a knife! Enamored evening. Oh, that's nice. Got flowers. Place down the knife. Okay. Let's... F how about fl Oh, wow! How romantic. Oh, shit! Got sunshine? Got heart? Finally, you monster! Got a broken heart. Heart? Save? Okay. How does this not work? She's happy. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. You can't see, but there's two rabbits that are holding each other's hands above the door. Okay, that's nice then. Okay, now what? Somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. I know what I- okay. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Classmates. Uh-huh. Oh, is that the mom? Parents. Oh, what's this? Siblings. Friends. Uh-huh. The cage is locked. Oh, I see the key. Okay. Okay. I don't know how this works. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, it's a cake! 
The top right? No, you can't put it down there, see? See, you can't do it. Read the signs again. The bottom left, okay. Oh, wow, oh. That's nice. Okay. And then what about this one? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Read signs after the change. Okay. Friends. Well, there's nothing that's changed, really. It says all the same stuff. Soulmates! Is this an Alabama, Alabama moment? Andrew. Ugh. Penny for your thoughts? No deal. Come on, give me one word. I think I, I think I can think of one word. Mortifying. Damn! Damn! Huh. Didn't seem like it a minute ago. Oh, man. Yeah? So I think you meant to say gratifying. Big words don't fit in your mouth. Yeah, something else fit in just fine earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, so mortified are you? You know I'm easy to distract. Some guilty conscience you've got. Better than yours. Come here, you. Ah ha ha. Wait, gently, gently, god damn it. The vision ends without you dying. So at least there's that, you suppose. Well. You wonder if Andrew saw it too. Oh, shit. Mayhaps. Oh, shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you, too. Uh, yeah, good morning or evening, I, I guess, whatever. Right, so did you get a vision? Uh, probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot, then? I don't. Oh, so you did see it. Oh, no. <laughs> Quite the vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. That demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it. That, that's just it. Yeah. Because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. So it gave us a fake vision instead. That's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I mean, it is. You're a trinket. Clearly, you were right, and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure. Keep selling it. I'm totally buying. Screw you. Yeah, you just might. Fuck off. Do you honestly think that? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know, you tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me, I don't want to hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses, yet getting laid is what you're freaking out about? No, no one got laid. And you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. Oh no. Oh no. No, we're not like that, are we? No, I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes. Huh? How so? A tad jealous. Oh dear, what's that? Wishful thinking. Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend like you don't have a bit of jealous streak yourself. Now that's wishful thinking. Fat chance, get over yourself. 
sigh. I don't think I need to ask this, but let me anyway. It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me? Never say never, Andrew, my dear. Oh my fucking god. Damn. Ha! <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why? Am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else? Ha! <laughs> Say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? Wow, what a landmine, huh? Well, yeah. No, forget this. Forget the whole thing. Fine. But that was clearly a vision, so it'll probably come up sooner or later. Well, in your last vision, a guy slit our throats. Yet here we are. So let's just leave it at that. All right, then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it a day. Anyway, let's throw mom and dad into the ocean, yeah? Okay. Well, where the fuck is the ocean? I guess we'll just go to the ocean. Maybe it's this one? I don't know. No, oh, maybe it's this way. This way is nothing but more parking spots. Oh, geez. Uh, uh, I hate you. It's not my fault this stupid bag ripped out on its own. I don't care. Hurry up. Pick him up. Pick him up. We got him. Thank God no one's here at this hour. Jeez, that was close. Vroom, vroom! Okay, so don't stray too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Oh, well, in that case... I bet I can throw farther than you. I bet you can't. Oh, yeah? Definitely. On the count of three. One, two... <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Filthy cheat. Nope, you never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh, yeah? Well, where's your fucking prize? Well, here's your fucking prize, jackass. It's a fist to the f- Aw, oh, hug. Well, thank you. Oh, wow. How romantic. Ethical victory? Ah, oh. Haha. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. You're a little different lately. Am I no fun anymore? Hmm, more like, let me think. How have you been sleeping lately? I'm actually, are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that. I just mean in general. Your insomnia and nightmares, how are those? Uh, it's been decent, all things considered. Yeah. Unexpectedly, you seem to be doing just fine. Hmm. Well, don't be happy for me or anything. Haha, <laughs> Andy's all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy is dead. I don't think he needs anything. Yeah. Even so, there's the trinket, too. You're apparently the only one who's allowed to use it, so there's that. I don't know about that, but it certainly showed me one way to keep him around. Huh, I suppose. Right, I'm honestly, I I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. It's really hard to plan what to do now. Oh, right, so what do we do? The money's bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can't we just live in a car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. 
Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Then can we buy fake identities? I know some people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right on it. Ah, that cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a defeatist. Let's go take a little look-see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. And also, the motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in a random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for the hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever, let's get going. Ugh. I had a mole here? You coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and money. I love it. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. He's got the fucking demon on him now. Glad to hear it. End of episode two. Fuck, bro. Oh, fuck. You cannot, con you can continue here once episode three burial has been updated. Man. Man, we fucking beat it. What are your thoughts? Sick, twisted, compelling, and interesting. I actually thought it was really good. I don't know why people were so upset. So far, I think the incest is least sick thing about- I mean, she is really hot, right? So, like, it makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't think the incest thing is that much of a surprise either. Thanks to Twitter, this game can't be completed. No, they're gonna keep working on it and keep finishing it. It's better than I expected? It is. It's better than I expected, too. It was. It was actually quite good. I liked it a lot. My rating for the game is Alabama out of 10. It's unapologetic in the best way. Well, I love stuff like this. I think it's great. Game of the year. It's one of the better indie games this year, I'll tell you that. I think it actually was. Alrighty, boys. We had fun. We had some times. And we'll be back on tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And I will see you all then. Alrighty, boys. Peace. See ya.